My name is Slaven Ristic. I am the CEO and majority shareholder of the company TRB from Republic of Srpska, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, today we have the opportunity to present uh, our serial production of uh, the armored or multi-purpose uh, combat vehicle called Despot. We built a new vehicle, very modern vehicle. Uh, we use the, the most expensive and best uh, materials available on the market. We designed it uh, the way the special forces and anti-terror units actually need it. Uh, so the compromise was the vehicle is very tall, uh, but compromising you know the, the height of the vehicle and the space inside, uh, we think it's a, it's a big advantage. The level of, of protection is uh, up to Stanak 3 level of protection, you know, both mine protection and ballistic protection. Uh, the vehicle, the way we see it here, uh, has a 3 plus 6. So it's nine people uh, inside, uh, but we also uh, have other options, uh, you know, with uh, 10 people inside, uh, with communications vehicle, command vehicles, uh, also medical vehicles, everything needed. This vehicle uh, is uh, equipped also with all the equipment that uh, the modern army is uh, in need of. Uh, as you can see, uh, the difference is the vehicle is very tall, uh, so the soldiers, they have enough space. Uh, to us it was very important uh, to have a vehicle set it up like this so people can go fast inside, fast outside. Uh, the vehicle is fully developed and designed by our company in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Republic of Srpska, together with special forces of the Ministry of Interior, Republic of Srpska. We uh, plan actually to offer this vehicle to the international market. Uh, because the market in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Balkans is not a huge market. Uh, we can uh, say the vehicle is top quality with uh, all the components and everything that you can see here is made in the European Union and the price is more than competitive uh, uh, compared uh, to any, anybody else within the European Union. Zastava Ruzja is one of the oldest weapons manufacturers around in Europe, and certainly in the Balkans. Started over 150 years ago. They've uh, come through all of the different itinerations of weapons manufacturing from bolt actions on forward. General Mikhail Kalashnikov considered Zastava's AK variants to be every bit as good as the Russians and he spent quite a bit of time working with the older designers here. So the input on their weapon systems has always been top quality. The M70 series weapons were very well known and the newest evolution is the M05C uh, series where you have um, 7.62 by 39 with a polymer magazine, uh, well tested, well tried out. They've added some rail systems to them an underbarrel grenade launcher in the 40 by 46 millimeter caliber that's uh, in the style of Western style opening from the rear using the 40 by 46 cartridge. Standard rifle is the M05E2. The carbine has a collapsible stock that's an M05C1T on the top. The new rifles that are being made by uh, Zastava are in a new 6x39 caliber, which is 6.5 Grendel. The Serbian military is moving in that direction, like many of the militaries around the world today. So it is, uh, it's not a Kalashnikov uh, per se. It has uh, special selectors done on it, and it has a long rail on the top for using thermals, night vision, in line. Well, it, these, these are based in a Kalashnikov design, okay, but they, if you look at the selector lever on it, you'll see that it's been changed to a thumb selector, which is much easier to use. So the lower section of it, it's, it's a modified Kalashnikov type receiver and fire control. The M84 machine gun is a modernized uh, version of the PKM machine gun uh, designed in Russia, again made by uh, Serbian company Zastava. It's uh, very robust. The first visual clue that you have that it's not an original PKM is the fact that the buttstock is not skeletonized in here. But other than that, the internal mechanisms are exactly the same. The PKM benefits from, uh, among other things, 
a design where there's a small finger up inside that positions the rounds as they're pulled back to the rear. The belt is a non-disintegrating metallic belt. The barrel removal is accomplished by pushing aside a slot, uh, a, a slide in the uh, under the feed tray, and then the barrel carry handle kicks the barrel forward. Very reliable when it's very dirty or hot so that you can kick it out of the gun for barrel changes. Uh, this is the 250 round can. They have a 100 round assault can. Uh, the belt loader is in the background. This particular gun is set up in 7.62 by 51 NATO. If you look at the top covers, you can see the difference that are needed in feeding. There are problems in feeding using the disintegrating link uh, that NATO uses, the M13 link, um, because when you try and position them, uh, there is not proper grip on the cartridge rim. This particular setup here is a vehicle mount, could be on a tank, they'd remove the spade grips for a remote. It uses a, what we call a lawnmower charging handle where you pull the, to the rear. The links are fed from a can. They're non-disintegrating and 10 round belts. And as the round is pushed forward, it's, it's a push through. As it's pushed forward, it goes into a side shuttle uh, lock that locks behind it and then pulls out and it ejects it towards the front on the forward stroke with the next round. This gun is made in 12.7 by 108, the Russian caliber, same as Dishka, Yak B, and several other uh, obscure variants. Zastava has been working for about 10 years to perfect the 50 BMG caliber version. Both of these are called the Coyote M02, but this version here is set up as an infantry model so that it can be carried by two people and moved into position rapidly. It is in 50 BMG, 12.7 by 99, and this is on purpose done towards the west so that they can have uh, proper training done with the ammunition that they have in inventory. My name is Gregor Walthauser. I am a senior consultant for TRB, uh, mostly in charge of international relations and of positioning TRB outside of the West Balkans. What we see here is the MH17, a uh, machine for clearing mines, specializing on anti-personnel mines. The MH17 is already the second model after the MH05 that we have on the market. Uh, the specialty of this machine is that it is a uh, classified 16-ton machine clearing anti-personnel mines but has the ability to very quickly exchange the tools if accidentally without any kind of warning hitting an anti-tank mine. One of the best features is that the filter system of this vehicle is one that has the best microfilter systems currently available on the market. We developed this machine and already tested it not only in Bosnia-Herzegovina but also in the Sudan and Namibia. And as you know, the sand, the sand quality in the countries like Namibia and Sudan is very, very, very fine, very microscopically fine. Another great feature of this machine is that the whole driver's compartment is ballistically protected not only from underneath but also the whole cabin and the glass of course not only against anti-personnel mines that might accidentally have an explosion in in uh, in a few meters above ground because of a delay phase but because you can use this machine also for heavy construction the heavy tools in front are capable of digging in 30 centimeters below ground which really covers up a lot of anti-personnel mines. As you probably know, mines are wandering over the years because of rain and gravitation and some, some kind of movement in the earth, they are going further down. Another tool and probably the most common when associated with mine clearing is the flail. Uh, it rotates in a very high speed and those uh, chains with the heavy tool, with the heavy end, which is a full metal, uh, they, they 
smash into the earth or into bushes or brushes and uh, uncover and uh, uh, overthrow mines. It all goes counterclockwise, so it does not throw the mines into the shovel, but to the outside, like the, like the tiller itself. The important thing is that you do not buy this machine for one use or for two uses, and then you have cleared probably all of your mines. I hope for everybody that is that easy. But afterwards, you can use this machine for heavy construction and for other military construction purposes as well. Um, my name is Rudy Juricic and I'm the sales manager for armored and unarmored vehicles, especially focused on the Balkan. But the company Franz Achleitner Fahrzeugbau is an Austrian man manufacturer of bulletproof vehicles for special purposes and also for military logistics. As you can see here, uh, it's the uh, militarized mission vehicle Survivor. It's in a basic Toyota Land Cruiser and it's focused on uh, the logistic of military and it's able to modify it according to the customer's wishes and needs. Uh, behind me we can see the Speed Fighter 55. It's a collaboration program between Franz Achleitner Fahrzeugbau and the French company Safran. We developed two types of them. This is the smaller one, the 55. And we also have the Speed Fighter 100. The special thing about this vehicle is we can throw it out of the plane and act immediately because we named it Speed Fighter for fast operations, fast uh, tactical um, plans of the, of the military and it's after landing, it's immediately uh, ready to use. Next to me you can see the HMV Survivor 1. It's a uh, own brand of Franz Achleitner Fahrzeugbau GmbH and it's absolutely developed and produced by us. That means we can, um, we developed different classes of protection, different levels of uh, protection against IEDs, and we are also able to modify according to all our products to the customer's needs. The HMV Survivor 1 uh, got the name because of high mobility vehicle, and it's the, let's say, the smallest one in its family but the most effective one. My name is Milan Vukelic. We are TRB from Bosnia and Herzegovina and I am project manager on the RS9 Vampire Hangar. This is our hangar that we have developed for the last three years and it's now start to serial production capacity of serial production will be around 10,000 pieces per year and these are the latest versions that, uh, that, that we did. The pistol is fully metal so it's uh, aluminium alloy and uh, steel, uh, aluminium alloy frame and steel slide so it's fully metal. Uh, it's uh, equipped with the polygonal barrel so the barrel has a longer life, uh, lifetime uh, our guarantee is uh, 80,000 rounds through each barrel. The capacity of the magazine is 18 rounds. So you have the other manufacturers with the similar uh, volume of the magazine, but with the 15 rounds or 14 rounds or something like that. So we, uh, we made the, some design changes in the bullet follower and the spring to accommodate the more capacity. Unique feature on our, on our handgun is this lever over here. It serves two pur pur purposes. One, when you push it down, when the gun is empty, when the gun is empty, you push it down and it releases the slide. The other purpose is when you push the up this lever, it decocks the gun and makes it make makes it safe. This is unique for our handgun, you cannot see it anywhere else.